Hello there, lovely ladies. I hope you're having a great weekend. I thought I would try something different. Uh, instead of just writing post, I thought I would do this little video and kind of let you know what's on my heart and in my mind, what I'm thinking about here lately. And I'm calling it 300 seconds or so with Sanja. That's about five minutes. And so I'd love to have about five minutes of your time and tell you some of the things that's going on in the state that involves the ladies and especially our pastor's wives. We'll talk about the conference in a little bit, but first I want to mention the Tools and Connect conference that will be held February 25th. That's the last Saturday day of this month at the Granite City Calvary Lighthouse Church. It's gonna be a great time of teaching and fellowship. I'm doing a breakout session for pastor's wives sharing and ministry wives and sharing some of the things that I've learned in my 37 years of pastoral ministry. So I would love to see you there. But the main thing I wanna to talk to you about on this video is about six weeks from this weekend will be our deeply thirsting conference that will be held at the Bethalto Church of God and March 17th and 18th. Wow, it'll be here before we know it. I wanna share something I was thinking about in the middle of the night last night. I woke up about three o'clock and I could not go back to sleep. Do you ever have nights like that? Oh, I hate it. No matter how much I tried, I couldn't go back to sleep. And so then of course I go to my default think and I was thinking about the conference. You know, just wondering how it's gonna go and have I done what I needed to do and all these thoughts are going through my mind. And then I begin to think about thirst. You know, I don't know about you, but I kind of struggle with drinking enough water in the wintertime. I don't get thirsty like I do in the summer. And I know that in the summer, you know, it's a lot of heat and humidity and we're out and about more. We're doing recreation outside, so we sweat more. And so I understand that. But also in the winter, we're inside and there's a lot more where the heater is on and it gets hot and dry in the house. But still, I just don't get as thirsty. But no matter the season or no matter the reason, every breath we exhale, we lose fluids. You know, if you don't believe that, just, you know, take a mirror or your glasses and, and there you go, you've got moisture on them. So it just goes to show you that we do lose a lot of fluid every day just by breathing. And you may be thinking, hmm, so what? Uh, I need to drink water, big deal. Hey, it is a big deal. It's a very big deal. Every cell in our physical body needs hydration. Not drinking enough water can lead to all kinds of issues and problems with our body and with our health. In fact, if you don't drink for several days, you can even shut down your kidneys and it can lead to death. So we're talking some, some big issues here. See, one of the sons of Korah, though, in the Bible, in the Psalms, they're the, some of the ones that wrote the Psalms, they understood that there's more at stake here than just physical thirst. That's not the only thirst that we struggle with, and not even the biggest thirst when you think about it in light of eternity. There is also a spiritual thirst inside each and every one of us. And that's why I chose the theme, Deeply Thirsting, for our conference. I'm not referring to drinking a gallon of water every day, although I do try to drink a couple of these every day when I can, <laughs> but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the theme verse found in Psalm 42 too, that says, my soul thirst for God, for the living God. <laughs> not the liquid spirits of this world and not the polluted puddles of popular culture. No, every part of our soul is thirsting for what can only be found in Christ Jesus, our God. <laughs> and that's why this conference matters. That's why I hope that you attend. And I hope that you invite ladies that maybe they don't know the living water. They haven't tasted the living water. They don't know. And I would love for these ladies to come and experience a life-changing time in the presence of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I wanna close in prayer and just join with me, believe with me that God is gonna do something mighty and special our weekend together in six weeks. Lord Jesus, 
living water that we drink and never thirst again for salvation. Oh, but we do thirst over and over for your presence and your power to be unleashed in our lives, in our homes, in our churches, in our community. So Holy Spirit, today we invite you to go ahead of us. Fill the sanctuary at Bethalto Church of God. Go ahead of us and help us to arrive thirsting deeply for what only you can supply. Mm. And like it says in another one of the Psalms, I pray this today, O oh, fountain of life, fill us with the abundance of your house. When we get there, fill us with the abundance of your house as we drink from your river of delights. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and agree together. Amen. Thank you for praying with me. Keep believing, keep praying. Let's believe for mighty things to be accomplished at Deeply Thirsting Conference. I love you. Bye.